this has proved to be very important and beautiful. Many political leaders have had wrangles in districts simply because of overlapping roles. They can't distinguish the role of the Regents Commissioner, the role of the district chairperson, and the role of the chief administrator. And indeed, they also don't know their mandate while in the council. But this two-day training in Kumi has helped us to empower, to enrich the local leaders. I'm particularly excited as chief monitor of government programs that the district councillors, the chairpersons of our respective sub counties, have appreciated their mandate, their role of monitoring government programs. And they have had the resolve that after here, they are going to be very key, very keen in monitoring government programs and projects and timely share information with the Office of the Residence Commissioner, the Chief Administrative Officer, and the CAO. To me, I call it this is a very great opportunity for the two districts of Kumi and Bukedea, especially on the issues of building capacity of the local leaders. We have seen in many occasions that where people lack capacity, they don't do many great things to change the lives of their people. And now this capacity building is only is also aimed at changing the mindset of the councillors and locking the knowledge. Yesterday I was categorically talking about three philosophical words: relearning, learning, and unlearning. These three words are very key, especially in this 21st century. Because for one to justify as an illiterate of the 21st century, is that a person who does not learn, who does not relearn, and who does not learn. So when I see this opportunity from Action Aid, giving us an opportunity to learn, opportunity to relearn, and opportunity to unlearn certain things, I see it as a very great opportunity. And the two days have been days of joy, days of serious engagement, and I am happy that this knowledge is going to transform the performance of this rural local government. Uh, we've not been knowing a lot about our roles and responsibilities, the roles of council, which is very key for a leader like I and uh, some other colleagues of mine. So I know we shall be able to deliver very well. Like, uh, I learned that uh, there is uh, an act which is amended 220, then uh, the rules of procedure revised, that is of 290, and uh, other things like the constitution, the role of a council, I didn't know, but today I have known. One is representation. Two, planning and budgeting. You know, when you are inducted, you understand how you do your work. As a speaker, there have, there have been gaps that you could witness now through the induction. One of them is that how do you coordinate as a speaker? How are you able to manage council when it's in session? How, how do you uh, allow people, give people opportunity to actually uh, speak in the council? What is the authority that actually you have? Every councillor now understands what am I supposed to do as a councillor? What I, how am I supposed to participate? How am I supposed to move a motion? What is this that, uh, how, how, how am I supposed to relate with it? How, what is this that I should put forward than eh? actually looking at individual issues? Because here you are told that we must make the interest of our community, then also we must be in touch with our community. All issues that are generated are in our community that need attention, we take it to council. Once council takes it up, it means we'll have given a service to the community.